large percentage of the LGBT community downloaded the Paramount Plus app to watch RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 6. Sometime after All-Star 6 finished, Queen of the Universe streamed on the app. Paramount Plus, unlike other major streaming services, does not have an LGBT hub and the app has a smaller catalog of gay titles compared to other streaming services. Therefore, I want to simplify your life and recommend the best gay content to watch on Paramount Plus. Also, all of the titles are in the description if you miss them. Stay tuned. Star Trek Discovery is a Paramount Plus original. Set a decade before the original Star Trek series, the USS Discovery receives a new commander. Discovery has a significant number of LGBT characters as well as actors. Wilson Cruz plays Dr. Hugh and Anthony Rapp plays Paul. They are in a relationship and the first openly gay couple on the TV series. Blue Del Barrio, who is non-binary, plays a non-binary character on the show. Also, Ian Alexander, a trans male actor known for the OA, plays a transgender alien. Tig Notaro, a lesbian comedian, was cast as Reno on the show, and her character was married to a woman before becoming a Starfleet officer. Last year, Mary Wiseman, who plays Tilly, came out as part of the LGBT community. If you enjoy sci-fi, you will love this series. Steam Room Stories is a web series on YouTube featuring shirtless men performing sketch comedy. Because of the success of the channel, the creators produced a film titled Steam Room Stories The Movie. The movie is a comedy that was released in 2019 and was screened at 16 film festivals. To summarize it, a failing cosmetics magnet, Sally Faye, played by Tracy Lords, has discovered a beauty cure-all located at a gay bathhouse. Regulars at the bathhouse work together to ruin her plans of taking over ownership of the bathhouse. This is a buddy comedy that is lighthearted and more about the beefcake than the script. Just like the YouTube content, it is campy, kooky, and entertaining. The plot is ridiculous, but that's the part of the fun. The producer of Steam Room Stories also made films like E. Cupid and The Ten Year Plan. If you liked those movies or the Steam Room Stories YouTube channel, you will enjoy Steam Room Stories the movie. C.O.G. is a comedy drama film directed and written by Kyle Patrick Alvarez and starring Jonathan Groff. The film is based on a David Sedaris short story from his book of collected essays titled Naked. C.O.G. marks the first time one of Sedaris' stories have been adapted for film. It co-stars out gay veteran actor Dennis O'Hare from American Horror Story, Corey Stoll from The Strain, Casey Wilson and Dean Stockwell also have roles in the film. COG premiered at the Sundance Film Festival in 2013, where its distribution rights were bought by Focus Features and it was nominated for the Grand Jury Prize. COG was filmed on location in Oregon in 2012. The film has a rating of 69% on Rotten Tomatoes. However, if you are a fan of David's work, you will love this movie. Also, I did not know about this film and I'm a huge David Sedaris fan. I have seen him read live and have read most of his books. I'm so excited that this film was created. Instinct is a mystery TV series which premiered in 2018 on CBS and is based off of a James Patterson novel. Alan Cumming, who identifies as bisexual, stars as Dylan Reinhardt, a former CIA officer asked to help a top homicide detective solve a crime. A criminal is using Dylan's book as a tutorial to commit crimes. The suspense is adequate for a mystery and the writing is sharp and has momentum.
The chemistry between the two leads is magic and allows the audience to crave more. The series premiered on CBS and shockingly, Cummings' character is not only gay, but also married. I never heard of the series until downloading the app, and I'm surprised it has not received much more press. The show has two seasons. If you enjoy crime shows and mysteries, you will love Instinct. Baby Steps is a 2015 comedy drama starring, written, and directed by Barney Chang. Danny, a Taiwanese-American man, and his boyfriend want to become fathers through surrogacy, but the complex world of surrogacy is further complicated by Danny's mother who wants to control every aspect of the process. Jason Stewart, one of the hardest working gay actors, has a role in the film. Jason has over 150 acting cre credits on IMDb and he is the chair of the Screen Actors Guild National LGBT Actors Committee. He appeared in his first film in 1984 in The Lost Empire, where he played the gay dude. Baby Steps is longer than necessary, at times confusing, and the dialogue tends to be clunky. However, I'm excited about future projects that Chang produces. If you like supporting gay indie film projects, then you will enjoy Baby Steps. The Younger is a comedy drama featuring a number of LGBT actors. The show was created by Darren Starr, who created Melrose Place and Sex and the City. The show has seven seasons and stars Sutton Foster, Hilary Duff, Debbie Mazar, Nico Tortorella, Peter Herman, Dan and Boyer, Paul Fitzgerald, and Michael Yuri. Sutton stars as Liza Miller, a 40-year-old divorcee who fakes her identity as a younger woman to get a job at a publishing company. She gets a makeover from her best friend, Maggie, to look 20 years younger. TV Land produced the show. However, the series moved from TV Land to Paramount Plus for its seventh and final season, which premiered on April 15th, 2021. Younger has a 98% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. If you like Darren Star Projects, you will definitely love Younger. Rocket Man is the 2019 musical fantasy about Elton John's earlier recording career. We follow the singer from his time at the Royal Academy of Music through the time that he recorded his song Rocket Man in 1972. The film is distributed by Paramount and even though it is backed by a major studio it includes a gay sex scene and lots of male intimacy. For his performance the star of the film won the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Motion picture, musical, or comedy, and received numerous nominations, including a Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Leading Role. Elton John won Best Original Song at the 77th Golden Globe Awards and Best Original Song at the 92nd Academy Awards for I'm Gonna Love Me Again. If you love Elton John, and you love musicals, you will love Rocket Man. The film has an 89% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Weird fact, at my birthday party two nights ago, one of my friends told me that the first album that he ever purchased was an Elton John album. So we're going to see his Farewell Yellow Brick Road concert when it comes to town. Gay Chorus Deep South is a 2019 documentary about the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus and the Oakland Interfaith Gospel Choir's tour in Mississippi, Tennessee, Alabama, and the Carolinas. Over 300 singers performed in churches, community centers, and concert halls in hopes of unifying the country. The tour was organized in response to a wave of discriminatory anti-LGBTQ plus laws and the 2016 election. The tour challenges what people think about the South and what the South thinks about LGBT people. 
Also, the tour challenges some of the concert members who fled the South to confront their own fears and pains toward reconciliation. The documentary won 12 awards, including the Audience Award at the Tribeca Film Festival. If you love documentaries, you will love Gay Chorus Deep South. Vito is the 2011 documentary film about the life of Vito Russo, considered the founding father of the gay liberation movement. After the Stonewall riots, Vito became a gay rights activist and critic of LGBT representation in the media. He published The Celluloid Closet, the first book to critique Hollywood's portrayals of gays. He later became an AIDS activist working with ACT UP before his death in 1990. The educational documentary is powerful and allows the audience to learn who Vito was through interviews of people close to him and archival footage. Before his death, Vito wanted to pass down the history of the gay liberation movement to the younger generation. This film helps to share his legacy and pass down his legacy to younger generations. I know that I stand on the shoulders of giants and that my life would be different without my gay forefathers who fought for gay rights. I am grateful for the gay forefathers like Vito Russo and the trans foremothers like Marsha P. Johnson, as well as all of the unsung heroes of the gay liberation movement. If you enjoy documentaries, this is the film for you. Coded tells the story of legendary illustrator J.C. Leyendecker, a gay man whose early 20th century advertisements were coded with LGBT imagery that quietly acknowledged a community that was forced to live in the closet. The documentary explores Leyendecker's legacy as a grandfather of modern advertising, connecting how today's LGBT advertisements are built upon a foundation laid by his work. He often included homoerotic themes in his illustrations. His work in the Saturday Evening Post introduced iconic American visuals such as the New Year's Eve baby in Santa Claus. Lion Decker produced only for the Saturday Evening Post 323 covers in addition to other advertising illustrations for the inside pages with a collaboration with the magazine that lasted for 44 years. That is incredible. JC lived with Charles Beach, the original model for Arrow Collar. He was born in Germany in 1874 and died in New York in 1951. If you love documentaries, I know you will love this one. Thanks for watching this video. Please follow me on Instagram at writervicgates for more about my art and literary projects. And in the comment section, let me know which shows that you will be watching, if I missed any shows that are available on Paramount Plus, and what are your favorite gay shows or shows with gay storylines on the app. Don't forget, all of the titles are in the description if you miss them. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, like, and share this video. Until next time, have a lovely day. Besos. Mwah.